in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Our today's lesson will be on how can you do better at school. The verses of the Holy Bible we have selected for this lesson are the third epistle of John number two and uh, the gospel of John chapter 15 verse 4 up to 5. I will deliver this lesson with the emphasis on the pointers I'm going to mention on. The purpose of this lesson is to show the importance of doing well at school and how this can be achieved. The memorial verse for the lesson will be the third episode of John number two, which says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Let us emphasize first on be convinced first of the importance of doing well academically. We as children of God must be good examples in everything because the Lord has given us a lot. We can see the memorial verses I have already mentioned. When we do very well at school, we will glorify our God's name. As we do well academically, we can establish good careers for our lives. So for the rest of our life, we do not have to suffer in bad jobs. By having good careers for ourselves, we can serve our church community as well as society in general. We can help the needy and the poor in all places of the world. And by doing well in our careers, we will be good examples for our children when we grow up and for our own families. The other emphasis that we should give on is on setting goals clearly. School gives us not only a degree, but also personal capabilities. And school contributes to our personal growth, spiritually, socially, etc. And to do well in a school, we have to guard our feelings. You should avoid negative feelings that can come to you from friends and others. To achieve this, one has to have the three S's, which means a spiritual atmosphere, spiritual program, and spiritual father. For this purpose, 
you are encouraged to read the gospel of john chapter 15 verse 4 up to 5. we have to perform well at school which means we should get to know our teacher you have to have an excellent relationship with your teacher you have to choose courses you like you never have to miss classes you are encouraged to sit in the front row do not be shy to ask any question ask the teacher how you can get higher marks you need need to learn to write fast in big letters and you need to know how the marks are distributed between assignments tests final exams etc we shouldn't work well not only at school but also at home i mean by this is we or you should read at home or at least glance at the lesson of the next day study smarter in short bursts do not i mean do the right things but not things right you should always focus you need to focus you are always encouraged to focus you need to draw pictures or diagrams to describe or clarify what you read study one thing at a time do not think of all things you have to study use notebooks not separate sheets when you are performing stuffs at home never be a last minute person and be careful of the internet and do not abuse this tool and you should perform well in assignments and exams to do better at school which means you should remember that credits are for right answers not for hard work or the time you spend on you need to use erasable pen you need to experiment with previous tests and exams and do not spend too much time on any one question to perform well at school you have to have some fun i mean by that sports walks he means songs short trips youth group activities and you should try to smile and give a time to smile and don't forget to smile and to perform well at school you should be persistent and keep trying and never give give up what do we learn from our today's lesson we can do better at school if we observe the mentioned points with prayers and the help of god 
we must be able to do very well at school. This is all about our today's lesson. Let's God help you succeed at schooling and then throughout your life. Let the grace of God and the intercessions of our beloved Queen Saint Mary is always with you. God bless you all and have a blessed day. Keep me in your prayers. I am humbly asking to remember me in your prayers by mentioning my name and for the success of the service I am delivering. Kasih Solomon Mulugeta.